Today I'm cooking a simple dish, braised chicken with ginger scallion sauce. This recipe is for 4 servings. The ingredients needed are 560 grams of chicken whole leg cut into small pieces, 100 grams of spring onions cut into 2 inches in length with white and green stems separated, 10 pieces of chitake mushroom, 180 ml of water, some cut spring onion for garnishing, 6 tablespoons of homemade ginger scallion sauce, 3 tablespoons of cooking oil, 40 grams of fresh ginger slices, 5 pieces of dry chili, 4 cloves of garlic, 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of saoxing wine, half teaspoon of sesame oil, half teaspoon of salt, and half teaspoon of pepper. The full list of ingredients and ginger scallion sauce recipe are in the see more link. Sprinkle all the salt on the chicken, then wrap and marinate until the salt has dissolved. Leave it aside. Switch on the heat, add in the cooking oil. When the oil is hot, add in crushed garlic, ginger and dry chili. Stir and cook for about one and a half minutes to soften the herb and to release their aroma. Then add in the marinated chicken and shiitake mushroom. Stir until all the chicken and mushroom are coated with all the herbs and oil. Add in seasonings, sesame oil, light soy sauce, pepper, and about 1 tablespoon of ginger scallion sauce. Stir and mix for about 1 minute or until the chicken and seasoning are well combined. Next, add in all the spring onions. Cover the pan and reduce the heat to medium-low. Allow it to simmer for 5 minutes, stirring occasionally in between to prevent burning at the bottom of the pan. This allows the chicken to release its juices. After 5 minutes, the chicken is cooking vigorously and has changed its color to gray. There is some gravy from the chicken juices as well. However, it is not fully cooked yet. Rotate the chicken and mushroom for them to cook evenly. Add in 180 ml of water and increase the heat to medium. Cover the pan and continue braising the chicken for 20 minutes. By that time, the chicken and mushroom should be well cooked and soft and the gravy should be reduced. Be sure to stir occasionally to prevent burning at the bottom of the pan. If it is too dry, add a bit of water at a time. After 20 minutes, nice! The gravy has reduced quite a lot. It is just perfect. Not too dry and not too wet. Let's give it a taste. Wow, it is good. At this stage, more seasoning can be added. But for this, it's already delicious. Add in Songxing Wai and all of the ginger scallion sauce. Stir until well combined. Once the ginger scallion sauce is added, the gravy is slightly thicker, which is perfect. Switch off the heat and serve. Garnish with a bit of cut spring onions. Let's eat! It's very delicious. The chicken is really tasty and soft, rich in flavor. The aroma of ginger scallion sauce and the saoxing wai is fragrant. Best to eat with rice. Thank you for watching. Please like and share if you have enjoyed the video. This is Home Cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye-bye.